time to shake and bake guys flying out of tf green airport going on vacation join me for the journey little tour of tf green airport in rhode island standing on the top floor of the c garage the c garage i believe it's the cheapest parking garage here at tf green and check it out you can see the providence skyline from the top floor of the c parking garage i think it said 15 bucks a day check it out guys the c garage they even got a rewards program if you're a frequent parker it's actually $12.95 a day, plus tax, even better, and they accept credit cards, so you can get those airline miles while you're paying for your parking. <clears throat> the cheapest parking at the airport, what's the catch, you might ask? Well, the catch is the walk to the terminal is quite long. Here we go. And just one lot over, it goes from $12.99 a day to $25 a day, so I guess you park at this lot if you're paying with the corporate card. Walkway to terminal, to terminal, airport. Oh, training for the marathon here. And this is the closest lot to the terminal, and that's $34 a day. So a little bit of walking, you can save some significant money, $34 a day. So this is the lot that you park in, if you just hit the lottery, I guess. Almost at the terminal, guys, and you can look over and see the sea garage through the trees there. That's where we parked, and there's the more expensive one, the most expensive one right here. Almost there, gonna check in for the flight. Just heading into TF Green Airport in Rhode Island. Check out this sailboat right here in the terminal. That's pretty cool. Welcome to Rhode Island, Sail Newport, North Sails. I guess it's some businesses that are located here. They have a train station right here at the airport. So if you come in and you want to go to Boston, you can pay $12.75. That'll get you there in 90 minutes. Providence is only $3.25. That's even cheaper than Uber. Peter Pan bus goes here. So they get a little information desk. And now it's time to go up and get our ticket. I guess this is the arrivals area here very nice airport though modern sleek not too crowded i like the design bright airy check out this bust of theodore francis green tf green the guy who they named the airport after he was a u.s senator and governor of rhode island back in the 30s so here we go american airlines hoping for that aisle seat like a locator get in there Easy as that, guys. Nice check-in process. Not really a big line going through TSA. Going to go through. Plenty of time to have a drink when we get through. Check out TF Green Airport. Here we are, guys. Providence TF Green Airport. Just made it through TSA, and they were real quick, real professional. Always get flagged because I bring trail mix as a snack to have on the plane. Trail mix, it's like a big bag of trail mix. Peanuts, cashews, almonds, M&Ms, and raisins, and for whatever reason, it picks it up as possibly a liquid but they got me in and out of there in about uh, one minute and 30 seconds so this is a real good airport to fly out of a lot quicker than boston just headed down to gate number six really early so gonna see what they have for possible food options maybe a little quick snack i'm not looking for any kind of big meal or anything just check out the restaurant options something to think about maybe for the next time or there's a place to get maybe a little appetizer that might be nice watch a little something on tv but right now for First things first, gotta look for a bathroom. Got Heritage Booksellers, and they actually have a decent selection of books in there. All the best sellers, and then Federal Hill News, a nice tribute to one of Rhode Island's most famous neighborhoods, Providence's most famous neighborhood, Federal Hill, known for its great Italian restaurants, explore Rhode Island, everything Rhode Island's known for. You got the Dells, Lemonade, Iggy's Doughboys, Clam Chowder, and then shirts, of course, that say Rhode Island, Rhode Island, and it wouldn't be Rhode Island if you didn't have a double D every half a mile. And of course, there's one right here in the terminal. TF Green Airport, close by to Providence. And they're saying here, it's the gateway to beautiful New England because it's pretty close to everywhere. Driving distance anyway. You can get to Hyannis, Boston, Groton, New Haven, and then take the ferry to Block Island or Nantucket of the Vineyard. Newport, only 30 minutes. Get a little sample of the departures 
and arrivals, where they fly from, Chicago, Detroit, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Orlando. It is winter time, so there's probably some Florida flights in the mix. And the nice thing about TF Green Airport is it's close enough to Boston that you can comparison shop. That's what a lot of people do. The parking in general is cheaper here. You don't have the traffic issues. You don't have to worry about taking a bus to get to the terminal. You just park here for cheaper. So it just makes the whole trip an easier, more seamless experience. So a lot of people are willing to pay slightly higher fares for the added convenience. Look out the window, not much going on out there now. Looks like an American Airlines plane taxiing way over there. I know the New England Patriots plane is here sometimes. That's kind of a mini tourist attraction. People go by the highway and they say, oh look, the Patriots plane, New England Patriots, blah, blah, blah. Not sure if it's here now though. It might be hidden away somewhere. We'll see. Check it out guys, Best Buy Express with headphones, chargers, stuff like that. And they even give you a low price guarantee within 15 days. Cheapest way to buy a charger. Yeah, absolutely, airport. right? Which sucks. Wow, nice, man. Right. Check it out, guys. Providence Airport, TF Green. They even have a lounge here. An escape lounge free to American Express Platinum Card members. And if you're a AAA member, you get 10 bucks off. Didn't even know this airport had lounges, but I guess they do. Just past gate 18. One of the big sponsors of TF Green Airport, CVS Health. One of Rhode Island's biggest companies headquartered, I think, in Woonsocket. Salve Regina University down in Newport. Beautiful university there. Just making our way down the other wing of the airport. See what we got going on. This looks like possibly Narragansett. It's a purse. Looks like custom-made handbags with a Rhode Island theme. Providence Oyster Bar there. Not only do they have oysters, but it's an actual bar. Looks like a pretty cool bar. Rhode Island, United States. Two for thirty dollars. Pretty cool. Fresh Providence Oyster Bar. Nice well-stocked bar there. Lots of high-end top-shelf liquor. Another view of TF Green Airport. Kind of a gloomy day. Not much going on today. Kind of a lull in the afternoon. Not a lot of arrivals or departures. But the people who are here like it that way. Nice and peaceful. Check it out, guys. Air Canada service to Toronto. So this is an international airport. Especially in the summer, they have those flights to the Azores. I think Norwegian Airlines used to fly in here. Not sure if they still do. Maybe in the summertime only. They used to fly in here doing those cheap flights to Europe, Scandinavia, another Dunkin Donuts, hardly surprising on the other side of the airport. Budweiser bow tie bar, kind of like a sports bar type thing going on. And I see the lounge all the way at the end and then that's it. That's all she wrote. Nice small airport, Bryant University, Explore Providence, the mayor there, Jorge Alorza, beautiful downtown scene. And we're at the very end of the terminal. Check it out, southwest of Baltimore. I like their sign, it's still kind of old school. They slide in the letters. They don't even have the LED sign yet. Maybe that's why their fares are so cheap. They still use the old school sign. We are, highway's looking pretty busy and I think you can see the railroad tracks back there somewhere. Lots of hotels right around the TF Green Airport area. Oh, there's another plane, American Airlines. Not sure if they're just landing or getting ready to take off. Got some nice rocking chairs here. Sit down, pretend you're at the beach. The beach is a great view and this is almost as good as sitting at the beach and looking at the ocean. Small private plane taking off there. And check out the cargo area. Didn't know they had this much going on in terms of freight. They have UPS, FedEx, and then some corporate jets. Almost boarding time guys. There is the plane. Looks like a nice day to fly. Last but not least, group number seven. Here we go, thought it would never come. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you? Not too bad. You have a great time. Thank you, you too. Nice thing about these small planes, guys. Never a line in the jet bridge. No such thing as the jet bridge getting all backed up when the plane only seats like 60 people. But the one drawback to a small plane, you gotta gate check most of the bags, because they will not fit. Bombardier CRJ 900. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. There it is, guys. Lucky 17 Delta. Like a day at the movies, guys. Got all the entertainment lined up here. Got the beverage, got the Bitcoin book, and got the music and the iPod. <laughs> Just finishing up loading the luggage, and we'll be on our way. Almost there. Just waiting for the clearance to take off from TF Green Airport. Oh, here it is. 
Here it is guys, welcome to Providence. And a little slow here in the airport. It is about 12.30 in the morning. This airport actually closes overnight. I think we may be one of the last flights in. Just gonna go to baggage claim, get the bags, hopefully it won't be too long, and get right out of here. Headed to baggage claim, nice ad for Twin River, Rhode Island's casino. Almost there. And the waiting game, where's my bag? And the bag has arrived guys, record time, got luck. Mine was one of the first ones out there, so I guess sometimes it does pay to be delayed. And a lot of people actually coming in. Most of these flights from Florida down south, warmer locations. Like I said, it was a storm before, so I think a few of these planes were delayed. Oh, dedicated Uber pickup spot. And just gonna walk as fast as I can over to that last lot. I will see you at the car in a flash. And we're back at the car, guys, here at TF Green Airport. Thank you so much for watching this video, a little tour of Providence Airport. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button. If you really liked it, please subscribe. Please leave comments. Please leave suggestions. I respond to all of them. On that note, guys, Jonathan Brown Menzies signing off from TF Green Airport at almost one in the morning.